Good morning. Beautiful day on the farm. It's time to get to work. We got hay to do, but our baler, uh, yeah, our baler is broken. So we need to go and we need to pick up one from a friend. So that's what we're going to work on here real quick. But yeah, as you can see, the hay is all ready to go. Hay is mowed. It's actually starting to, to dwindle away. It's been sitting out here for so long. We're starting to lose it. It's starting to blow away in the wind. And it's we've been way too slow at getting this bailed. It's been really bad, but we'll get to it. We're, we're hopefully getting to it today. If not, then forget about the hay crop, to be honest with you. If we don't get it to it today, it's just gone. But we're going to get in the... Yeah, we'll take the tractor. We won't be able to haul it with the truck. And we're going to go and pick up that baler from our friend since ours is, uh, well, long story short, that baler mod is broken in the server right now and it just won't work. To, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That baler is broken for some reason and it doesn't work. So we're going to have to pick up a different one. Real quick, I have to say thank you so much for everyone that uh, stopped out at the live stream. That was a lot of fun. We did a live stream on Sunday uh, for about an hour and a half or so, hour, hour and a half. I'm not exactly sure how long. And it was a lot of fun. A lot of people came out and hung out. We got to talk about a lot of stuff. And we're definitely going to do it again. I might make that a weekly thing. Maybe every week on the weekends we'll do a live stream. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see how things play out. But uh, just thank you. Thank you for coming out and hanging out on the stream. And if you missed it, don't worry. We will do another one. Maybe I'll make it to where they're weekly. We'll see. We also still need to pick up our, <laughs> our combine from that field. That We worked on that field on the live stream we uh we got a much bigger combine don't worry we didn't do it in that little thing but we need to get that thing moved out of there and back down to our farm i'm pretty sure stevio doesn't want want it sitting out there for too much longer would be my guess hello hey jake how you doing oh not so bad you hopefully i didn't wake you you're not sleeping are you oh no in the tractor okay. Is there any way you have time today to help me, I should say? Yeah, yeah, I've got time to help you. What do you need? Um, well, I need to be running another combine to finish up that wheat field that we started the other day. Uh, we just got a little bit left. It'd be nice to have somebody run that combine. Yeah, yeah, I can come out and uh, give you a hand. What What okay. time are you thinking? So right now, I'm actually taking your guys' 9RX, and I'm going to... It's crazy, uh, but I'm going to Buck's dealership to pick up... Uh, pick up a grain cart so i'll be back in probably 45 minutes or so and then if you want you can meet me out there in 45 minutes all right that sounds good by me okay perfect i'll see you then all right see ya sounds like bailing is gonna get put on hold once again which is fine we will uh we're gonna go out and give him a hand combining sounds like he's taking the 9rx over to pick something up so we got a traffic jam behind us look at this this is a true Iowa true good lord. That car didn't care. Don't. It, it, yep. Yep. That's all I can say about that. Look at this car. He's like a fish. Like popping in and out of water. Like <laughs> you, you get what I'm trying to. You get what I'm thinking about. Like, like whoop. Blub. And then you wait for it. Wait for it. Here comes the fish again. Blub. <laughs> what the heck. All right, we're rolling up to uh, back of the farm. We still have the international. At this point, I think I'm just going to buy it. I think at this point, I'm going to be like, listen, tally up how much I've gotten on rent so far. Put that towards the purchase price, and then I'll pay the difference. But we're going to try and see if we can get this stuff bailed. Now, some of it's windrowed, some of it's not. And uh, this is looking pretty thin now, so it's not really going to be the best yield. But it, it'll be all right. So we got that lowered, get it turned on, and hopefully... This bales. I, I don't know. We'll see. Our friend lent us this uh, this round baler, this New Holland. So we're going to see if this is going to work out for us. This hay is very thin now. It was actually uh, fairly thick, but so much has blown away in the wind and it's been rained on. And it's just not good hay at this point. It just is not. So... I'm not worried about it. This is probably going to be cattle hay anyways, if anything. Uh, we might even just sell the hay because I don't actually have any cattle at the moment. I should be on my like third cutting of hay at this point or so, and this is my first. So, I mean, really, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. It'll work out no matter what we have to do. It, it'll be fine. But looks like we're about to get our first bailed here, so... 
Let's hop out. And then there's 100%. We'll back up. And we'll hopefully this unloads. Hopefully. Ooh, nope. Nope. It's a seasons thing. All right. There's the answer to that. So in case anyone was wondering, seasons and hay bales, at least big round bales, do not cooperate. I don't know if it's seasons on a server. I don't know if it's seasons on this map. But uh, even with an in-game baler, something to do with hay bales, round bales specifically, does not work. The small square baler, that works just fine, but unfortunately this does not. Hey Jake, you there? You got your CB? Uh, hey, what's up? Okay, I... yeah, 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 I got you on here, perfect. Um, so, I'm, I'm probably 15 minutes out, and then I'll be at the farm. I just want to keep you updated, because I'm running a tad bit behind, but... No, no, no problem. I'll, uh, I'll get my truck and get that ready and get on over there. It'll probably, by the time I get there, you'll probably be there. All right, see you in a bit. Well, that's all right. We're getting called in to work anyways. I don't even, I don't really work for him, but I'm just helping. You know, I, I don't mind helping out. Since now that we can't bail, our day is pretty much shot. We have nothing really to do on our end here, except for maybe do a little bit for the co-op. Maybe to look at expanding the bins, but yeah, uh, no bailing. No bailing right now. That's, that's disappointing. I don't know. I'll have to look into that, but we'll go ahead and get in the truck, get it fired up. And uh, we'll get on over to Grant's and help him out with his wheat harvest. I think we're running a combine today for him. You know what? While we're at it, I think I'm going to also try and pick up that trailer of mine that's sitting over at one of their fields, that PJ trailer with the IBC tanks on them. Yeah, I need to get that picked up. It's just sitting out there. So we'll probably do that as well. We'll pick that up and uh, that way it's on our truck when we when we go to leave so we don't just forget it there. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with, with bailing. I think it's the round bales or something, because that small square baler of Austin's works just fine. But I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to look into it. Maybe we'll have Austin come down and I don't want to do small small squares, that'll be too many. Maybe we'll do big squares. We'll give that a try. I don't know. Boy, it's actually a really cool day out. It's only like sixty degrees in summer. What the heck is that about? But we're rolling up to squads here. Looks like he's out getting stuff ready to go. I think I'm just going to pull in. Make sure I know what's going on. Looks like one of the combines might be here. I don't know which one I'm running. We'll, we'll find out here in a second. I need to... Can I squeeze through here? I need to find a place to park this, this truck. Squeeze through. We'll just park this thing right up over here. Jake, how you doing? Hey, what's up? Not much. I was just getting ready to take either the S7... 80 or the STS over there. What one do you want to drive? I'll drive either one, boss. Whichever okay, one you, you don't you, want to drive. <laughs> okay, you take the 780 and I'll take the STS and then uh, just uh, we'll pro probably the easiest way to actually, I, I could probably back up out of here and then you could just back up with me. Okay. And then we'll just head over to the field and then we got to reattach to the headers uh, and then we can get going with harvest. Awesome. Let's do it. Uh, also, remind me to pick up my PJ trailer that you all left over there next to that field. Oh, is that yours? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. I did, Wait, did we leave that? Yeah, yeah, when you guys oh, were spraying. Oh. Oh, yeah. I apologize about that. <laughs> it's apologize. fine. Oh, shoot. Nah, it's yeah, just a trailer. Uh, yeah, we need to get that back. I, oh, shoot. Um, okay, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'll I'll try to I'll, I'll try to remind you, but you may have to remind. Okay, my memory is <laughs> horrible, so this isn't gonna be good. But we'll hopefully we'll get that done. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, let's uh let's get at it then. Okay. Sounds good. All right. We're and gonna. I'm on uh, channel 13 usually in the CB, so it should be locked in on channel 13 there too. So All right. Sweet. Oh, this thing is practically full. We already need to unload. What the heck? Oh well, it'll be all right. Hey, uh, you, you got your CB on there? Yeah, I do. So, I'm already practically full. Do you want me to unload now? Uh, yeah. yeah. If you could unload in the gravity wagons, that'd be perfect. Yep, will do. So, Jake, I think I'm going to switch around the operation. I'm going to leave the gravity wagons here at the farm, and then I'm going to run the grain cart and unload in the gravity wagons here at the farm. That way, we're not moving the gravity wagons much. So, we'll get uh, this. We had like 83% sitting up in here. We'll get this unloaded, and uh, that way we have an empty tank. So we can get to harvesting and we won't have to stop right away. I don't know which header is mine. And I think they might even be the same headers. It'll be fine. Looks like uh, he might 
be there to guide me on or something. I think we should be able to get it. We have pretty good visibility here. Nice and easy. Right forward. We're a little off. And there we go. We're ready to go. I think we'll maybe follow him here. Hey, Jake, if you want to take this uh, right side here, uh, you can do that. And then I got, there's a little bit. I got to finish on that left side, and then I'll come help you finish the right side. That sounds good. Yep. Sounds great. We're harvesting. We're harvesting wheat. This actually shouldn't take very long. I think we'll get this done in a fair amount of time. If we got two combines running, he's got that massive uh, auger wagon running with the uh, with the 9RX. I think this is going to go pretty smoothly. So we'll just keep in contact with him, let him know how we're looking. Still yielding 170 bushels an acre. That's, uh, <laughs> that's some of the best yield I've ever seen in my life. That's really impressive. Oh, actually, man, no, it's, it's okay. It'll be fine. We actually need to, uh, looks like he's, looks like the previous guy stopped right up there. I should have paid attention to that. But it'll, it'll be fine. We'll just scooch over there, I guess. Actually, before we continue, I'm gonna test the moisture here. So let's see what the moisture is looking like. Uh, 13? 13%. Hey, Grant, you got your ears on? Yep, I'm here. Well, I just tested the uh, moisture level uh, here and because I was curious with the morning dews if it'd be too wet or not. But no, it looks like it's fine. We're sitting about 13%, which is ideal. So everything should be good here. Okay, perfect. That's what's showing up on mine. I, yeah, I didn't even really think about that until, <laughs> until you mentioned something like that. But yeah, okay, awesome. Perfect. I was wondering if, honestly, if like this hill, this field is pretty hilly, if some spots if you're either higher or lower on the field, will be a little wetter than the other spots, just as far as the wheat. Uh, yeah, the moisture is probably going to vary. Um, the low sides will probably have more more moisture to them, just because the dew will set harder on them than they will on the hills. I'll tell you what, I've been pretty, uh, pretty, uh, what's the word here? Blessed, I suppose. Pretty pampered running these nice combines. I don't want to go back to my old old 1980s 88, combine. 8820, isn't that what you're running? Yup, old 8820. Yeah, dude, I, I feel like Buck, I feel like Buck has some pretty good deals. Does he have an old STS you could buy or pick up pretty for a good deal or something over there? He might, I'll have to check, but I'm, I'm definitely thinking about upgrading because, uh, yeah, that old thing doesn't even have AC. <laughs> Holy crap, that's going to be rough. Especially, but do you have any wheat though? Because in the summer when it's real hot and you harvest wheat, that'd be rough, but... No, no, uh, purely soybeans. Oh, okay. That's not as bad, then. Yeah, no, it'll be alright. Yeah, you ought to talk to Buck, see if he can get you a deal over there. He's got a... I think they've had a couple of SCSs around that have been for sale for a while. So I bet you they'd be willing to lower their price over there. I'd love to get an STS. I think that'd be the... The perfect one for me. Not too expensive, but a definite upgrade. Yeah, and how many acres do you run? It's not like you need like a crazy big drape or anything like that either, right? No, I, uh, of actual cropland, I've probably got, oh, 80 to 100 acres. Maybe, okay, maybe, man, with 80 to 100 acres, you can almost stick to that 8820. Obviously, that 8820 is probably going to have more breakdowns and stuff, but you probably... Do you rent ground too then, or do custom harvesting? Uh, I'll do a little custom harvest here and there, okay. but uh, no, primarily it's just just what we've got. We do want to start renting some more land though. Well, I'm uh, I'm looking about 490 bushels here, so I'm gonna guess I'll fill up pretty quick. Okay, I have a couple spots that I gotta turn back to. Ah, oh, it's so tough because I'm gonna fill up two over here, and there's a little <laughs> bit I have to turn back around for, but. I'm going to be completely full over here, so, yeah, I'm going to run down there and then grab that grain cart quick, and I'll come unload you. All right. Okay, once I unload you a little bit, uh, we can unload it on the go if you want, as long as I can get you unload a little bit. All right. I'm going to have there to do a sharp 90 here. Yeah, I'll just get out of your way so you can make any turn you want. Oh, that's like a dollar I just missed. Well, I tell you what. If we uh, collided in these two things, that's a very expensive mistake. Yeah, it is. Well, we got. We probably have over. Yeah, we 
We for sure have over a million dollars right here. Oh, this we've, is insane. we've probably got a good 1.5 million or so. Jake, you close to being full or how many bushels you got in the tank there? Oh, no, we've only got 130 bushels here. Okay, are you going to finish this little area right here or are you just going to head straight north here and finish the north end and then work your way back? I'm going to finish this little section here so I don't have to keep coming over here. Okay, okay, perfect. At least the field's not muddy right now. <laughs> That'd be a... Yeah, we don't want that combo <laughs> getting stuck again, mate. Yeah, like, that was you, right? Was yeah. That stuck last time? Yeah. Man, and you know what? The other day, I almost got that thing stuck, too. Really? I almost got it stuck. I almost drove in the... Because that mud hole, I need to backfill that or something. But I almost drove right in that mud hole again. <laughs> that would have sucked. Yeah, it would. I don't know if we... Because uh, this is actually... This is... The one we got on demo from the dealer, right? Yep, yeah, it's uh, it's Platteville's uh, S780. Oh, does does Buck even know that we got us stuck in mud? <laughs> was he there? I, I no. don't think he was there, yeah. It, honestly, I don't, I don't know if Buck even knows we have this combine on this field. I think he's, I think he still thinks it's sitting outside of, uh, oh shoot. I, I don't know if I told him we have it on this field, that he borrowed it for this field. Oh. <laughs> He might be kind of angry, actually. Does he think it's still sitting over at Stevio's? Stevio's, yeah. I think he might think it's still sitting over at Stevio's. Honestly, shoot. I don't know if I should tell him or not. Or we just, like, <laughs> after he's on this field, we fly down the road and just put it right at Stevio's <laughs> field. Yeah, hopefully he hasn't gone to look for it and they, like, noticed it's gone and filed a police report or something. Yeah. I, I don't even know if he's going to be into work today, so we should have we should have time, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully we can get it back before he notices. You don't have any toilet paper in this tractor, do you? <laughs> I, I don't think so, no. Okay, because I really have to use the bathroom, and I can't hold it anymore. I must eat something bad, but... Well, you probably got time to run over to your house there, I suppose. I'm... I, I think, I, I don't know, I, I think it's going to, I don't know if I can make it that far, dude. Well, I guess when in doubt, fertilize the field. Here. There's a shed here. I, there's a nice overgrown shed and some trees. I think this might be good. I, this is a neighbor, but they're not. They're on vacation right now. I, I, I gotta do it, man. Hello? Hey, uh, uh, Jake? Uh, yeah? Do you happen to know where my 780 went? Your 780? Yeah, it's not sitting down here at the field. Uh, did Grant not call you? Uh, no. Oh. Um. It's, it's, it's at, we're, we're using it at Grant's. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's gonna go on his bill. <laughs> that ain't gonna be cheap. Oh. Boss is wondering where the hell that thing's at, and I'm supposed to explain to him where that thing is. We're supposed to be getting ready for a remodel, not worrying about where uh, stolen, technically now stolen equipment is. Oh, yeah, I, I, I didn't know that he he didn't call you. I, I, I didn't know that. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to have to get on the phone with him any, anytime soon. You know where I could happen to find him if he's near you at all? Well, he's using the restroom at the moment, but I'm sure you'll be able to get a... Oh, looks like he's actually probably done, so you might be able to get a hold of him here. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to give him a ring. Yeah, yeah, you you go ahead and do that. Jake, you full there? Yeah, I've got about 500 bushels here. Well, 460. Okay. I'm going to pull up alongside you. We'll get on load here. Alrighty. Mike so... Everything's... Yeah, uh, this is this is all good, but there's something that isn't. What? Well, while you were uh, using the restroom, <laughs> okay. I uh, <laughs> well, I got a call from Buck. Yeah. Oh no. And he was wondering. He, he, he was wondering where this combine was. Shoot. Okay. Maybe what we do is we go run it to him right now. We just run to the field before he makes it to the field, and then we can use the STS to just finish up this field. Well, that's the, you're probably going to be getting a call from him. Oh, Jake, my phone's ringing right now. I think it's Buck. Uh oh. I, I think it's Buck, dude. Jake, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, we need to get this scene back quick. Uh, I told I uh, Buck caught me, so uh, I eventually had to confess. 
but his boss doesn't know yet. So we gotta get this back. Once we finish this, we'll run it back, power wash it off. Maybe, uh, power wash it off. I don't know if we'll be able to wax it completely, but uh, power wash it, maybe put a little wax on it, and then run back to the dealership. All right, Grant, I'm flying back to the farm right now. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna get this green car unloaded, and then uh, we can go. I'll just, I'll have you drive the combine, and I'll follow you, and I'll give you a ride back uh, with the truck or something. All right, where's where's the power washer? It's right by the quad set. Okay, I'll pull this thing yep. right up there and, and we'll get it washed as fast as we can. All right, time to power through this power wash. Real quick. Make sure she's all sparkly, all clean. Get them tires. Get all this up under here. Get the tires. There we go. Perfect. Side panel. Cab. Lights. Feeder housing. Oh, this header is absolutely destroyed. It is... Oh, I can't... Oh, no. I'm running out of hose. It's okay. We'll get the back side. It'll be fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. Everything's going to be fine. Nice job, Jake. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's, let's not tell Buck that we got it stuck in the mud. Deal? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can't even tell, though. You can't no, even tell. no. Unless you watch this vlog, then we'll see it. But other than that, you can't tell. Yeah, yeah, let's just withhold that information. <laughs> but, uh, Dead? I'll follow uh, you, or you follow me, or what's happening here? Yeah, I'll... Do you want me to lead the way? I'm trying to think what's best best with traffic. Uh, I mean, I'm slower either way, so whatever. Okay, yeah, you I'll let get you there? lead the way, and then okay. I'll follow right behind you. All right. Hey, you got your CB on in that truck, right? Yep, she's a working. Do you know how many hours this thing had when, uh, when... Buck brought it down? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know what it was at. I have no idea. What's it saying now, though? Uh, we're at 4.4. 4. Uh, for, honestly, four hours is pretty darn realistic for, like, a field of that size, though, when you think about it. Yeah. So maybe we're good. We should be all right. I don't, I, I don't think I, it's a big deal. Yeah, I don't think they're going to save much. Hopefully we can just kind of sneak this thing in there without any of the workers uh honestly hopefully we can just bring it back and not have to say anything to them and just sprint out of the dealership yeah the truck and head back you know exactly guess we're about to find out yeah it is eight o'clock maybe they all went for coffee if we're lucky i doubt it let's hope let's hope they did well i don't see anybody so far but we're a ways away yet We'll have to check the sign. If the sign says be right back, there's no one here. Oh, the sign's not out front, is it? Darn. Where was this thing? Do I just slot it up next to these ones? Yeah, just right there next to those. Gotta run, 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 and let's roll. Ooh, we're back. We were lucky there. Yeah, a good thing no one was there. Yeah. So I'm pretty much just going to clean up. I might jump in the STS a little bit, finish that up quick. It's nothing, though. If you, I, I, I seriously appreciate the help so much for a day, Jake. Seriously, it was awesome having you. Yeah, yeah no problem. I'm, I'm always down to come over and, and help out, so. Yeah, yeah. And then, oh, shoot. I got, oh, we got to grab that trailer for you. And we got to get, I, I just remember oh. that. And then I got to get the Niner X back to you, too, after we're done here. Yeah, yeah, whenever this field's done or whatever, we'll take the 9RX back, but I will go and pick up my trailer. All right, well, see ya. Give me a call if you ever need anything else. Yeah, I'm sure I'll need your help tomorrow. We'll see, though. But, yeah, I'm sure there's always stuff I need help with, so, yeah. If you're ever if you're ever busy, if you're ever not doing anything and you're bored, feel free to give me a call because I'm sure <laughs> I could always use you. So. All right, will do. Okay, I'll see you later, Jake. Yep, see ya. All right, we're going to hop back into a truck. We're going to go over and pick up that trailer, and that is going to be it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button that helps out the video. Oh, looks like... Is that... Is that Buck heading to work? Oh, is that timing. We got it back there just in time. That's hilarious. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and until next time, I'll see you all later.